How long you been here? Man, got here, got the building, August 19, opened the doors January 20th, 2020, closed the doors March 11th, 2020, reopened November 1st, 2020. Been rocking so, ever since. Yeah. Closed during the pandemic. Yeah, it was. They was giving you a fine if they found you in the building. <laughs> Couldn't even be in the building. So where we at right now, man? Tell me right now. At. We are VIP in Washington D.C. on 18th Street. Okay. Channel 18. Man, this is this is VIP. She went to like a real exclusive. It's exclusive to Central, but if you don't know, you don't know. Okay. You might know about peace in the air upstairs, but right here, this is when you come with your wallet full. You know, come back with us. Tell me about this this rack right here. What you got here? So this rack right here. This is when I'm tinkering around with my fly shit. So this is like as close to my ideas as you're gonna get in the physical, right? So when I just come out with it, now it's on this rack. So fortunately for the for the person wearing it or buying it, you're getting one of one or one of only a few. Okay. And that's like these ain't gonna be mass produced. No doubt. Yeah. This one right here, for instance, I got a roll of Balenciaga nylon ripstop fabric when I was in Paris. And so when you get the stuff, they just being rolled. Right. But I saw this sweatsuit come out of that. I see the culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to design me. I didn't get wrong. Yes. Yeah. No. Grab that fleece right there. The orange, the orange one. one. Oh. What is that? Yeah. This fabric right. right here is called boucle. So this right here keeps you cool when it's hot and hot when it's cool. Talk right? that so shit. It, it depends on your body temperature. This will check your temperature right quick. We got the gold satin lining. And this is one of only two. I'm not even gonna make no more. Okay, one, two. one of two? Yeah, yeah. This was on New York Fashion Week runway right here. All right. Yeah. All these How many of these pe pieces made it to uh, Fashion Week? This piece made it on the runway. This is the only piece right here that made it on the runway. Right. The other pieces. Let me see. Yeah, none of, none of this stuff down here was on the runway except this one. What size is that? This right here is a medium. Okay. I have a double X in there. Okay. Only two of them I did. told you them little niggas always get the fly shit. They always do. They always do. It's almost unfair because I've never been a medium in my life. Right. But I know that you know that's who's copying. So you know if you're a medium, bam. Right. Now this right here, there's another boucle. So like when you when you look it up, you know I know you uh, you introduced the word uh, pilfer. Pilfer. I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. So I'm gonna introduce boucle. Okay. Right. B o u c l e with an accent mark. When you look it up. you you understand the weave, the weave behind it. This right here, I call this the fish scale boucle. Got it. If you look real tight, you see like little flecks of silver thread in there. Um, this is another one of them. Extremely rare, extremely fly. You want to give a rat pack wearing that joint. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So um, this is something I'm proud of right here too. I had to clean them up. Pen stripes. Yeah. Who's even doing something with pen stripes? Yeah, well, I ain't seen pen stripes. I mean, pen stripes you know was shit in the early '80s. And yeah, shit. yeah, exactly. This right here, this is popular. So this is something specifically designed for the spring, but for them summer nights when you just want to get it fly and you know put it together, and not do too much. Right. But you can dress this up, or you can dress it down. Pen stripes. Some real simple. We call this a uh, silent luxury right here. I'm not putting this stuff all over the stuff. It's just something silent. Yeah. Show you something up. Right here. So this ain't a button down, it's a zip down. That's when you get on that boat. You at the boat party or something? Yeah. Popping <laughs> a bottle or something? Yeah. Okay, yeah, throw this off. Might what is this? Is this linen, cotton? What? This is poplin also. And Say it again? Poplin. P-O-P-L-I-N. Poplin. Yeah, this is also from a Balenciaga roll of fabric. Got it. Yeah, and I don't be chasing Balenciaga nothing like that. But sometimes they make fly fabrics. Balenciaga, Tom Brown. Yeah, I'm after the quality. Right. Sometimes it's not a name affiliated with it. But when I see it, I'm there for it. Right. Um, this right here is probably gonna put the camera. A whole 3M. Oh, this is the shit that be on sneakers. Yeah. On the New Balance. Yeah. Got it. Whole piece. Got it. You're not gonna get lost at night. Without no need for a search party. No doubt. 
Yeah. What's up with this uh, fatigue blend? Uh, okay. Okay. So no, I got that eye, right, man. Bring it on out. All right, so all three of these are different. So this right here, if you got your muscles, gun show. So let me show you. All right, so first of all, each one of these is different because this right here, this might be from the 60s. This piece was from a pillowcase that a soldier at war sent to his mom. And I know a lady who collects like a lot of memorabilia from soldiers who are on active duty. Right. Fort Dix is closed now, so this ain't even something that this is. This is an automatic antique. Right. But I, I said, keep the pillow, send me the pillowcases, I'm gonna make something out of it. Got it. Bam, so that's the back of it, front of them, you get your little patches together. But it ain't closed either, it's a federal penitentiary now. Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> there we go. Right. So, y'all don't know how you feel about that. <laughs> nah, it's fire though. No, it's yeah, fire. Yeah, you, yeah it. it's fire. This right here is all the way, you know, it's, it's global. This is from Malta. Yeah, it's fire. That's velvet with the hand bead work right there. That's crazy, yeah. man. It's this crazy. right here, This right here is from the, this is from the 70s. Hand wash and dry clean only. Right. Keep it fresh forever. Got it. Yeah. I remember seeing paintings like that Hell back yeah. in the day. My yeah. pops, uh, People's my pops had these tacky ass choices on the wall. Yeah, they would have them with afros and shit exactly. like that. Yeah. Exactly. And this right here, a little closer to home. I mean, you know, on American soil. Joined from Minneapolis. Right. Wherever they, wherever they would go, they would get like little, you know, it was no cell phones. It was no, you know, you write a letter or take out a long, but you know, they send it to right. something, but you know, son, son's okay. What do you draw fashion inspiration from? You know what I'm saying? Like, how does all of this shit come out of one mind? Shit, like, Man. you watch a lot of TV or something? Like, nah, what, 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 what I watch, what like, if you look at that right there, I watch a lot of nature shows, right? Okay. So, my cheat code, well, this is about the ocean. My cheat code when it comes to color combinations and shapes is nature. Got it. And I just sit there observing and just like look at all the fly shit that's out there. And and so when I think about color combinations that I would want, I think about ones that are already naturally put together. Right. And I'll write them down because you won't remember it. Like when you see like a cousin, you might be, oh that's cool. You might pick up like the colors that you're used to, but it's like some slight shit. So I write down combination of colors that I just see naturally occurring in nature. Right. Then I think about certain cuts from different eras that I used to like. You know, it might be something that I saw. As a matter of fact, I don't have it with me, but I have a jacket called the James Dean coat. Okay. I like how James Dean used to dress. Right. You know, like just watching the old joint. Yeah. I like how Marlon Brando, I like how Sidney Poitier yeah. used to dress. You know, then we could fast forward into the 80s. You know, of course, when, when everything was getting originated, the sweatsuit, all that, the whole get down. Yeah. I incorporate that and I just blend it into one thing that makes sense. Got it. You know, so like, I'm just observing of what I'm seeing and I draw inspiration from what I've been around. No doubt. And one thing I do not do is copy trends. I do not fuck with trends. No pilfering. I do not pilfering. <laughs> yeah, no pilfering. Ain't no pilfering going on here. Yeah. You got a lovely display, man. Yeah, man. Something that I'm really, really impressed with is the sneakers. Yeah. Take me over here and show me okay. what you got. Now these right here, these are rare issues. Giuseppe's a nut. Where are we trying to see? Oh, shut up.